I'm asked a lot of questions on the channel about potting the black from various angles. People are having a lot of problem when they're, they're low on the black. Uh, your restriction of positional play when you're straight on the black. And the easier one of the three when you're high on the black. So let's have a look at when we're low on the black. So the first thing is, from here, let me first of all say it's a tricky shot even for the professionals. All right. How do I pop that black? Well, the first thing is you examine your cue action. That's the first thing. It's no good aiming in the right direction if you deliver that cue and you're not delivering it exactly where you're aiming. The second thing is how do I choose the line of aim? Well, if you're high on the black here, right, we've got two lines which we can see. The pocket is in our line of vision. So it's always easier to pot the black from a position high on it. When we come to be low on the black, right, that line of, uh, of shot now goes out of our vision. We're aiming, aiming here in that direction and that becomes what is known as the blind pocket. Very tricky. Right, but how can we resolve the issue? Well, the first thing is, I believe, to come round here and see the line of the shot. Once I've got my eye on the black and the line of the shot, I walk round here and I keep, I've kept my eye on that line and on the black. It's no good looking over there if I'm distracted because if I'm distracted now, what I do is I come back and I start again. So I, I'm up high, I see the line of the shot, see the black, I'm walking round here and while I'm stood up here, I can to some degree see the line. So I'm putting the cue on the, this line of aim which will send the black on that line to the pocket. Once I start going down, right, that second line tends to disappear. From here, now all I'm really seeing is the black. But I've already, because I've been high up on here, I've established the line and I've come around here, I can see that line and I'm placing my cue on the the line which I believe will send it to the pocket and as I get down my cue is already on that line of aim. I do my preparation and from there just pop the black very gently. Okay so that's when you're low on the black. Let's have a look at it in greater detail because what I want you to do is now practice that shot. So from here, don't examine your, your technique too much. Let's not run before we can walk. So what I want you to do is start with a gentle cutback. Again, from here, come have a look at the pocket and the black, which in this case happens to be a red. And here we go. I'm high up and I bring the cue down on the shot. And then from there, I do my preparation and play the shot. Okay, now we make that a little bit more severe. So the first one was here, now what we're doing is coming round to here. Again, go through your pre-shot routine. Look at that line, keep your eye on that line. We're high up here, we can see it. And as we get down, it tends to disappear, but my cue is already on the line. And here we go, the only minor adjustments to be made. Okay, so now what we do is increase that angle even more. Really tricky shots now. Now I can assure you, professionals would think twice about potting this. Well, shall I go for this? Because invariably, they'll be disturbing a few reds because of this shot. So they may decide it's too big a risk and play safe. Your decision. But if you're going to take it on, have a look at this line again. Keep your eye on that line. Keep it in your mind's eye. I'm coming round here. Bring that cue down on the line that you have selected. Then thrust that cue through that line you have selected. 
okay? Practice needed, all right? Only experience will teach you these things. But there is a technique to use. Come round, have a look at the line. Keep your eye on it. Bring your cue down on the line you selected. Deliver the line you selected. And you should get a fair degree of success. When we come to being high on the black, different proposition altogether. So here, we're high on the black. Starts to get a little bit easier. Okay, so here I'm high on. I can see the line of the shot. Again, no need for any side on these shots unless you're trying to do something extra with the white. So here, I'm just a plain ball shot. I can see the line of the pocket, so no problem at all. Just deliver the cue on that line. All right, now if I want to Put side on the ball, right? All it does is make the shot a little bit more complicated for most people. Some people like to pref will prefer to play this shot with a little dab of side because they're kicking the ball into the pocket. That's personal preference. But for me, it's a plain ball shot. Now, if I need right hand side, uh, which in this case just applied with a little bit of screw, then I can come quite severely around the angles. And I can sort of do all sorts of things in terms of positioning the white ball. It takes a lot of practice. Now there's no doubt that because the black is in this position and the reds are around this area, this is the main scoring area. All the top professionals they can pop the black, bring the white off this cushion and dictate where that white's going to go. And it needs an awful lot of practice. And people say to me, where do I need to hit the white to achieve stone or to achieve, uh, shall we say, a small degree of stone, a small degree of screw, etc." Well, let me just say that I can hit the ball in exactly the same position as, say, Ronnie O'Sullivan or Stephen Hendry, in exactly the same position. But because we hit the ball slightly differently, we'll get a slightly different reaction. All right? That's how the game works. Ronnie gets through the ball better than most people, certainly better than me. So hitting the ball at six o'clock, he'll get a fair degree of screw. I will hit the ball in exactly the same position because I don't get through the ball quite as well as he does. I won't get as much screw. That's how the game works. Practice and practice in the, on the right manner. That's how you achieve what you want to achieve, not exactly where you hit the ball. That tells you very, very little. Okay, so here I'm high on the black. I'm just playing with topspin, nothing more. I pop the black. Come off the cushion, you see where the white goes. I'll play from roughly the same position. I'm still high on the black. This time, just come down on the ball a little bit. This time it's stunned. The first one was with top spin. This one was stunned. So all I do, is come down a little bit. And from there, let's see where the white goes. And ne next one, if I play with screw, from roughly the same position, we get a more action on the white. Still not applying any side. No side at all. And then when I play with side, as well as screw, that's when I can do all sorts of stuff with the cue ball. But the pot is the priority. So from here, I'm playing with, a, with screw, and a small degree of side and look where the white goes. These shots need practice and lots of it, right, to develop your accuracy in the potting. Don't forget, if you get the pot but miss your position, you're still on the table. If you get the position and you've missed the pot, okay, all you've done is stuck your opponent up. So let's make sure the pot the pot is the priority. The positional side, 
important, it's really important, particularly as you go up the levels of expertise, but the first priority is that pot. Good luck with your practice. <laughs>